Okay, me again. So again, I took a couple clips of these next couple days, but I thought I would come on here and just kind of explain them to you a little better so you could see what was going on. So um, the first day of our trip was my birthday, and we went to Universal, and I just kind of wanted to, you know, enjoy my birthday, not have to worry about vlogging or doing anything, and just kind of enjoy the park. Um, so I didn't vlog at all that day, um, but we did take a couple pictures when we were at Universal, so here's a couple pictures of us there. It was super fun. We had a great time. Um, we rode every single ride. Um, we went to the Universal Orlando part instead of the Islands of Adventure. Universal has two parks. And it looked like the Islands of Adventure kind of had more water park rides than the main Universal Orlando Park. So that's kind of why we did that one. They both had Harry Potter World, so that didn't really sway me. There's Felix. So it was a great day. Um, it rained a little bit, but it didn't really affect us because almost all the rides were inside. And they had a lot of cool themed rides. We went on The Simpsons, Men in Black... Harry Potter, of course. There was a Fast and Furious ride that we went on, but we were very disappointed in it. I don't know if any of you guys have been on that ride at Universal, but it's literally just like a big party bus that you get on. And so it's just this big vehicle that you go. And I I don't know. I just feel like Universal kind of cuts corners a lot compared to Disney World. I'm a huge Disney World fan, and so I was really excited to try Universal and stuff. And like their Harry Potter World was awesome. The ride was awesome. But a lot of their other rides, I feel like it was just a lot of, like, cheating. A lot of it was we would just go in front of a big screen, and you would be in a vehicle, and it would just, like, move the vehicle around to make you feel like you were actually moving somewhere when you really weren't. You were just watching something on a screen. So, I don't know. I just feel like they cut corners a lot because I feel like at Disney World that doesn't happen. Like, you actually go through a building and go through the ride. So, it was just interesting to see the differences, but it was definitely way less crowded at Universal than Disney, so we were able to get, like, all the rides done, and it, it was a really great day, and my parents ended up taking Grayson, so I didn't have to take him to the park, so I could just have a me day and celebrate my birthday, so that was awesome. The next day, we went to Disney World, and that was super fun. It was Grayson's second time going to Disney World. Yes, he is, what, like 14 months old, and he's already been to Disney World twice. <laughs> but yeah, we loved it. We It was way busy there. I mean, it's the summer, what can you say? But we were able to get a lot of rides in. They've got that fast pass system, so we used that. We went on... Um, Haunted Mansion, we went on It's a Small World twice because Grayson absolutely loved that ride. He just wanted to keep going through it, seeing it, he would smile. After we would like go from one room to another, he would keep looking back like, wait, I want to go back there and see more. So it was super cute to see him do that. We went, uh, we did the Winnie the Pooh ride, we did uh, the People Mover, I mean, we did a lot of rides. Um, the only ride that we didn't do that I kind of wish we would have was the Peter Pan ride, because that's really fun, but that ride the whole day was just so busy. It had such a long line, it's just not worth waiting in line at Disney World, it's really not. But we had a great day. And every time it rained, we were waiting in line or inside, so it didn't really affect us at all. So it was a great day. Um, the day after that, the third day of vacation, was my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary celebration. So the whole reason that we went to Orlando was so that we could celebrate my grandparents celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, which is awesome. You don't really see that a lot nowadays. To start off the day, we went and took pictures, group pictures of everyone, and we did family pictures, and then a whole group picture, and then just pictures of, like, my grandparents and their kids, and it was a whole ordeal, so I did get some pictures and videos of that.
was super, super hot though. We took the pictures at like 10.30 in the morning, but by 10.30 it was already so hot. It was so hot and mostly humid in Florida. It was so humid. It was just like, you didn't want to do anything except for just be in the pool and swim. It was so hot, but we made it through. Grayson was kind of miserable because it was right during his nap time and he didn't get his morning nap. So, but thankfully on the pictures, I don't really feel like you can tell that he's too upset. I was worried they were going to turn out really bad, but they actually turned out pretty good. So yeah, we did that. We did pictures. And then after that, we kind of chilled at the house for a little bit. We And then we went out to like a nice dinner to celebrate and then we went back to this big house that my grandparents had rented for us all and we kind of had like a little mini celebration so we put on music we had a cake we had like little hearts that people could write messages on to my grandparents we had you know snacks and drinks and a dance party and it was just super fun so I took a video of like everybody there and the decorations professional dance classes and they would like compete in competitions like it was just a cute hobby that they loved and so they wanted to teach us all like a dance that had like a certain amount of moves kind of like cha-cha slide or like electric slide but you had to do it with a partner and then you just kind of go around in a circle and it was played to pitbull's fireball which is hilarious because like my grandparents are older and it's so funny that they like knew what that song was so i took a couple of videos of us all dancing to that. It was super fun and we didn't know what we were doing half the time, but it was fun and my grandparents enjoyed it. So all in all, it was like, it was a great day and um, I'm glad we were all able to get together and celebrate. I'm sad that the Florida trip is over, but I'm looking forward to our next um, vacation, which is only in a few weeks. We'll be going to Colorado and I hope 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 to record more than what I did in Florida. I just, I don't know, I think it was, I think it's really hard to record when you're on vacation with a child. 
Mostly because, like, I usually do a lot of the caretaking of Grayson, and Anthony doesn't really care to vlog very much, so a lot of it's just the vlogging and everything is on me. But when we go to Denver in a couple weeks, we're actually going to leave Grayson back with my parents, and then he's going to go with Anthony's parents for a little bit. So I won't have a baby, and it'll just be adults. So I'm hoping that I will be able to vlog a lot more and get a lot of good footage. So I'm very excited, but it was a great trip to Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these videos and subscribe to stay tuned for our Denver trip and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.